Hey guys, Sancho from Metrica Sports here. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our chroma key and the way this works within the software. So essentially the chroma key is a way of placing drawings underneath the players. So just to make them look a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer than sitting on top of the video. The way this works in the software is it's supplied automatically, as you may have seen, for drawings where it's required, but you can also be quite flexible. So if you select the chroma key, this green bar on the timeline, you can delete it, you can add another chroma key later in the video if you want to. If you select the chroma key here, you've got some options that pop up. Generally, you don't need to play with these too much, but you can adjust these and see the way it changes the way it looks within the software. The way the chroma key works then is anything below this green bar in the timeline, these drawings here will be below the players. And then if you have any drawings above the chroma key, then they'll be on top of the video and, and above the players. So I'm gonna show you an example of how that works and how you can manipulate it. So if I place another drawing, so let's say a ring, like this and I'll just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. You can see this example is, is below the green bar and the drawing is below the players. If I select the object in the timeline and just use the up and down arrows on my keyboard, I can move it above and below the chroma key. So if I move it above, you can see it's there sat on top of the video, on top of the players and then below. So depending on how you want your drawings to, to look and, and work, this is a nice way to, to manipulate that making use of our automatic chroma key and then the ability to add your own chroma key as well. So thanks for watching and look out for more of these short tutorials.